Bram Stoker's Dracula by Francis Ford Coppola, 1992. Somehow this didn't make my radar screen last year, 30 years ago, last year. And I did a rewatch of this just because it was like the next suggested video from something else that I was watching, The Lost Boys. And I thought I hadn't watched this in like forever. And then it was, it was a massively long film. And as I got into it, I have to be honest, I really forgot about how well the film was made. Like this is a true, Coppola doesn't get credit he deserves for the epic elements of this film. It's very, it's criticized very harshly for not being more of like a horror film. And then picking and choosing out very specific elements that are bad. Keanu Reeves. Um, but overall, I have to be honest, I did enjoy a lot of elements of the film. I think the costume, makeup, set design, sound. I mean, there's a ton of things. I think Gary Oldman's fine. Winona Ryder is fine. Um, it's a very impactful film. I think based on the way Dracula was being handled, vampires were being handled and that kind of thing, um, it become also like a, like a meme. Like there's a lot of like, meme elements of this film with with um his character the hairstyle become a meme i know on simpsons the simpsons even one of the uh, uh treehouse of horrors has done that way that kind of thing um but overall this was a really interesting adaptation of sort of like a vlad the impaler and mary shelley's work within um like what with like the frankenstein franchise as well like i feel like it was almost like an amalgam of a lot of different themes and elements that we really had not seen. And then it's the Bram Stoker approach. So here's what we're going to do now with all that said, right? Cause Anthony Hopkins is great. I think that, um, Richard E. Grant is great. Carrie Ellis is great. Uh, I think for the most part, everything flows. Tom Waits as Renfield. Oh, it was fantastic. I love the sequences, right? Yes. Keanu Reeves is in it. Yes, it is rough having him try to pull off Jonathan Harker. Um, but I think all of the elements of the romantic element, sort of a romantic epic element is there. Because the film is very, it really tries to lean into sort of an eroticism to um, Dracula and the vampirism. And I think it makes sense. Obviously, when you think about Dracula's not just out there thirsting on just any creature. He's always after the hot chicks, right? So he's seducing them, you know, yeah, got Bella Glossy style. So let's run through a couple moments um, in this trailer. Um, and first, like I just said, like the books and the castle and the set designs, things like that. And and just, and just a quick backstory, right? Him as, a, him as a warrior and all of that, I thought worked really, really well. Um. They did a good job too, I thought, in this trailer where we cut a little bit of things out of order. Not that we don't spoil things, but we at least keep the audience sort of like off kilter. I don't remember ever feeling let down when I saw this, like things were spoiled for me. So it was because they kind of cut it all up out of order and things like that. So this comes across much later. Um, I have to be honest, this sort of like rugged Van Helsing take, yet also being... Um, older and then there's also a couple of scissors one great scene where he talks i forget how he says it but it's like i don't know like as brilliant as he is as interesting as he is and all that there are moments where he's like not totally sure it's like he's in, he's in over his head too i like that i like that a lot um and i have to give coppola some credit right look at the look at the color palette and how different he changes things up um all of that's amazing um, and again, there, this is all very much into that romance part of all the story. Um, but and, and some supernatural elements here. This was amazing. Okay. So this is this sequence where you have Jonathan Harker meeting Dracula, the shadows and his cape, um, flowing and movements, all of that really, really enhance any shortcomings that you, or misgivings that you may have with the Dracula interpretation because they're really alluding to a whole lot more than we even get on screen. I, I, I loved all that. I, I love the fact that we don't spoon feed things. We just kind of, we kind of roll with it. So, but all of that was great. Don't totally like some of the actual like monster designs as much. Like that was sort of like 
I think some of the weaker elements of it, like Dracula's armor, I thought was fine with the flashback sequence. It, it's okay. Um, but some of the creature elements were not my favorite. Uh, but I will say uh, it all just sort of works in the grand scheme of things. Like it, I felt like I was in some version of Dracula. Um, yeah, this was that, this is that, and again, it seems like I never got disconnected from the film or wanted to give up on the film, even when Keanu Reeves was pretty bad because there were moments like this. So it's like, yeah, he, he cuts Jonathan with a little bit of blood and it's like this whole, you know, lapping it up, like, you know, thing. Oh, just creepy and unnerving and uncomfortable. I loved it. Um, yeah, he's a vapor. He can be rodents. He can possess a wolf. He can be all these different things I thought work well. And I think they work well in the context of adapting the novel. Like if you're looking for a new take on this, you have to kind of make sure you apply sort of like the timeline and the evolution of the drag legacy and lore interpretations. Um, and by the way, we do also not give enough credit to Christopher Lee, by the way. So that's that. Um, yeah, you get Lucy. Oh, yeah, this was the scene. So in the trailer, when this when this first dropped, this was the scene that I think a lot of people talked about was that one. Him rising up on like he's obviously on like a board being raised up. Um, and these scenes with Hopkins, like just there's some blood and it just everything is very uncomfortable. Right. Um, let's see. Yeah, just everything about this is also very cinematic. You know, the film student in me just loves what Coppola was able to accomplish. Um, yeah. Um, let me see if there's anything else that was worth note. Just again, yeah, just there's there was some really good editing and cutaways that kind of did some things that were, I thought were okay. Um, yeah, that was Keanu Reeves is by far the worst part. And this is that creepy laugh at the end that makes like the makes the rounds, right? This is the meme. Yeah, just fantastic stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. Have you seen this recently? Maybe you've got your thoughts. Love, hate, whatever. Um, yeah, I enjoyed rewatching it. It was really a nice uh, rewatch. Um, interesting retake on everything. Enjoyed it a lot. Fast forward a little bit here and there, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But, listen, great stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody.